Buaguri is a hard to reach community near Nakpanduri in the northeast region. There is no properly constructed road to get there except a simple path created by the people's constant use on a daily basis. It was like a chore using the bumpy path during a recent trip. Residents like Ibrahim Tia feel the pain of the lack of road in this community. Actually, this road is a problem. It has a lot of sand. When you are moving, it's very difficult for you to move. Even walking alone is not easy. Even in the night when you are passing, it can happen that snakes and other things will come by on your way. Uh, so we find it very difficult to move from place to place. Yeah. Even when it is raining time, we find it very difficult to walk because it is only sun. You, it is always slippery. You can easily fall and get an accident. But the lack of good road isn't the community's foremost priority. Its number one priority has been a bridge that would enable them to cross this river with ease during the rainy season. This is why the community unanimously chose a bridge over a health center when they had to make a choice. There are some health facilities near some certain places, just about Targu. There is one there. How you get to Nakondu is also near a bit. But the bridge, we do a lot of things by crossing the bridge. We farming and going to our relatives and other things. So it is also good for us to have the bridge. Yes, we choose the bridge. If the bridge don't do, nobody can cross here and build a hospital. Nobody can come here and do, build school. So we chose the bridge to be first. So if the bridge done, everything can do here. Without the bridge, nobody can come here and say he's going to build school, he's coming to do clinic, what and what. Because of this, we don't have business ladies or business women in this our community because of this road. If you buy goods here, you can't cross. The community with about 80 households has no electricity and cellular network coverage, making life unbearable for the residents. But through the lobbying by the Northeast Regional Minister, who is also the Member of Parliament for the area, Solomon Boar, the Ministry of Special Initiative is constructing a double three by three culvert bridge over the river for the first time. And this is expected to end the annual drowning and loss of lives in this community. The construction of the bridge is also expected to open the community up to business opportunities and improve access to health care services. This resident Saibutia says several people, including children, have drowned in the river over the years. He says during the rainy season, the activities are hampered due to the absence of the bridge. Now he is happy that problem would be taken care of. Rekia Guma spoke about how she and her colleagues are locked out of the broader economy due to the absence of the bridge. Mm -hmm. The foreman for the construction work, Isahaku Yehuza, says the bridge is expected to be completed soon. It's somehow it's moving fast because uh, we started last two weeks and then uh, we were able to tie the iron and then fix the uh, abutment the uh, abutment walls and then started with the concrete and then it's, uh, because of this water that is disturbing us like we would have been more faster than this I think in two weeks' time, we were able to run up and then hand it over to the assembly. For these residents, they now feel part of the larger Ghanaian society to have seen the construction of this bridge.